Richard Dittrickle was an American race car driver. He raced for decades around the short tracks of Wisconsin, winning many championships along the way. Trickle competed in the ASA, ARTCO, ARCA, All Pro, IMCA, NASCAR, and USAC. In more than an estimated 2,200 races, Trickle logged 1 million laps and is believed to have won over 1,200 feature races. He was billed as the winningest short track driver in history. Trickle's career highlights include racing to 67 wins in 1972, winning seven ARTGO championships in nine years between 1979 to 1987, winning back-to-back -back ASAAC Delco Challenge Championships in 1984 and 1985, the 1968 USAC Stock Car Rookie of the Year, and winning the 1989 NASCAR Rookie of the Year award in what was then called the Winston Cup. Trickle was nicknamed the White Knight as referenced by his sponsored Super America paint scheme, when he raced in Wisconsin. Early life, eight-year-old Dick Trickle was playing tag with his cousin Velen on the rafters in a house under construction when he fell two floors to the basement and broke his hip. He was transferred from a local hospital to the University of Wisconsin Hospital with slow recovery. His recovery was so slow that the doctors gave up and sent him home, presuming that he would be an invalid for the rest of his life. Trickle later began to walk, although he walked with a slight limp for the rest of his life. He spent three years in a cast from his waist to his foot. While he was recovering as a nine-year-old, a friend took him to his first races at Crown Speedway in his hometown of Wisconsin Rapids, Wisconsin. When I got there I was flabbergasted, Trickle said. I thought it was the neatest thing. Free shows were nothing compared to it. That race never left my mind until I was 16. I knew I was going to drive a race car when I was 16. Trickle married his wife Darlene in 1961. They originally lived at his grandmother's house for a while before they bought a trailer on someone else's property. His nephew, Chris Trickle, was a race car driver before dying in a drive-by shooting. Racing career equals Wisconsin short track career equals, Trickle's family lived on welfare, so there was no money available for racing. Trickle spent his summers working for area farmers, starting as a 13-year-old. He also spent a lot of time at the Rudolph blacksmith shop that his father was a partner in. While his father was ill, his uncle Leonard ran the shop. I worked part-time at the shop to earn a nickel or dime, Trickle said. At that age, it was mostly sweeping the shop, but I started to play with the welder and soon I could make an arc and then weld. I started junking machinery. I save some things getting a head start for when I would go racing at 16. I didn't have any money, but I had this pile of stuff to build a race car with. It was a hope chest. When I turned 16, I let the farmer I was working for keep most the money I earned until fall. That fall I collected my money and went down Main Street wheeling and dealing. I finally bought a 1950 Ford in good condition for $100. It was going to be my street car, but the urge to race got too strong and I cut up and made a stock car out of it. I did run the car a little bit before I cut it up and I ended up drag racing a classmate, Melvin Hunsinger, who had a 1949 Ford. He beat me. It seems kind of dumb when I already knew there was a car that could beat me. Eventually, I bought Hunsinger's 1949 Ford for $32.50 and put the motor in my car. Trickle started out as the slowest car in a 100-car field at a Stratford, Wisconsin short track race. He raced that car at the end of the 1958 season and throughout the 1959 season, after which time he built a 1956 Ford into a race car using all of his knowledge that he had acquired. In his first time out with the new car, he finished second in the feature event at Griffith Park at Wisconsin Rapids. His competitors checked the rules and found out that Trickle was too young to race, even though he had already raced there for two years. He had to race at other tracks for a year until he was old enough to race at his hometown track. He raced for several years before deciding to race full-time. After working at several jobs after high school, he had worked for two years for a local telephone company. He had been uncomfortable climbing telephone poles as he was uncomfortable with heights. 
he transferred to a different part of the company. Two or three years later he discussed racing full-time with his wife for he felt that he could be profitable, and they decided to make the change. Trickle raced at over 100 events each year for over 15 years. He was racing at Tomar Sparta Speedway when Francis Kelly noticed that Trickle was always in contention for winning the races, but he lost a lot of them because he had junky motors. One day Kelly approached Trickle and asked him what it would cost for Trickle to win. Trickle told him a new motor. Kelly asked Trickle to compile a list of parts that he needed. When Kelly asked who would assemble the motor, Trickle responded that he could but he was a junkyard mechanic. Trickle suggested that Alan Kulbicki's father Jerry Kulbicki, who was building motors for Norm Nelson's USAC stock cars, should build the engine. A big turning point in Trickle's career happened at the National Short Track Championship race at Rockford Speedway in 1966. Trickle said, the cars in that area were fancier and looked like they were ahead of us. They didn't treat us bad, but they sort of giggled at us kids with the rat cars. After two days, they looked differently at those rat cars. I won and pocketed $1,645. I questioned spending the money to travel that far. But if you could win, that was a different story. Trickle started the 1967 season by winning at State Park Speedway and ended the season with 25 feature victories including wins at Wisconsin Dell Speedway and Golden Sands Speedway. He toured on the Central Wisconsin Racing Association tracks in 1971. The circuit consisted of larger asphalt track racing on most nights of the week. CWRA regular drivers were able to run over 100 events in a year, and most did the tour with one car and one engine. Drivers would drive on Wednesday nights at La Crosse Fairgrounds Speedway, Thursday nights at State Park Speedway near Warsaw, Friday nights at Capital Speedway near Madison, La Crosse, or Adams Friendship, Saturday nights at Wisconsin Dell Speedway, and Sunday nights at Griffith Park. Tuesday nights were available for special events. On Thursday nights at the Quartermile State Park Speedway, he won seven features and lowered his July 1st 14.27 second track record to 14.09 seconds on the following week. On Friday nights he raced primarily at Capital Speedway, winning most nights that rain or his car did not break. Trickle went to Adam's friendship on July 23rd and won the feature after setting the track record. He held the track record at six tracks. Adams Friendship, Capital, Warsaw, Wisconsin Dells, and La Crosse. He raced at the newly opened Third Mile Wisconsin Dell Speedway on Saturday nights. By the end of the year, Trickle had won 58 feature events. Trickle started his 1972 season by winning at Golden Sand Speedway near Wisconsin Rapids. Wisconsin's short track racing season starts in April. By May 13, he had 12 wins in 13 events. He got this 15th win in 20 starts on May 27. Trickle became the winningest short track driver that year when he won his 67th race. Trickle won numerous special events outside of Wisconsin in 1973, including a 200-lap feature at Roller, Missouri in April, following by winning a 50-lap feature the following day at I-70 Speedway near Odessa, Missouri. In May he won a 50-lapper at Springfield, Missouri and two more features at I-70 Speedway. Trickle used his purple 1970 Ford Mustang to win at the Minnesota Fair and at Rockford Speedway in September. He had a total of 57 wins in 1973. Sanctioning bodies put in a weight per cubic inch rule, and Trickle's career had problems in 1974 and 1975. Ford's almost broke me. I couldn't get any pieces for racing at my level. It took two years of hard labor and depleting my funds to realize I couldn't do this anymore. I told myself either I had to change my program or get out of racing. Therefore, Trickle decided to use a General Motors car and engine. He bought a car for $13,000 on his word that he would pay for it by September. He won 35 or 40 races that year and paid for the car by July. In 1982, Trickle won track championship at State Park Speedway in Warsaw where he started out the season by winning the first two features and seven total. 
He also won the track championship at La Crosse Fairgrounds Speedway after winning three events in August. That season he won his first Miller 200 special event at the Milwaukee Mile. Trickle started racing out of state a lot more in 1983. Of all of Trickle's victories, his best memory was winning the 1983 World Crown 300 in Georgia. It took three weeks of preparation and a lot of determination, he said. It was the biggest payday of my career up to that point. He beat Jim Sota by two car lengths at the season opener, and won three straight races in May. After winning on June 1st, Lacrosse Business raised a $700 bounty for anyone who could beat him. Trickle skipped the following week, and returned the week after to lose to Steve Burgess. He did not win as much at State Park, but he did win the track championship. Trickle won ASA races at Coubun, Virginia and Keuka, Ontario in 1984, as well as the Red, White, and Blue State Championship Series at WIR and the Slinger Nationals at Slinger. Equals regional and national touring career equals, Trickle raced in United States Automobile Club stock cars in 1968, and he won the Series Rookie of the Year award. NASCAR career in 1989 Trickle made his full scheduled debut driving the number 84 Miller High Life Buick for Stavala Brothers Racing. He had raced an occasional race during the 1970s and 1980s. He was Rookie of the Year in NASCAR's Winston Cup at age 48, becoming the oldest driver in Winston Cup history to do so. After being given the Rookie of the Year trophy at the NASCAR Awards Banquet, he quipped I guess a Euro unregistered trademark D just like to thank everyone who gave a young guy like me a chance. His best career Winston Cup finish was third. He started 303 races, with 15 top 5 and 36 top 10 finishes. In 1990, he won the Winston Open in the number 66 Tripartic Pontiac. It was a non-points all-star event for drivers who did not win in the previous year. He beat Rob Maruso by 8 inches, the smallest margin of victory at the event. He also won his only career cup pole at Dover Downs International Speedway. In the middle of the 1991 season he went to drive the number 24 Team 3 Racing Pontiac. His best finish was 6th at Dover International Speedway. In 1992 he teamed up once again with the Stavala brothers, driving the number 8 Snickers Ford. In 1993 he drove the number 75 Carolina Pottery Ford for Butch Mock Motorsports and then the number 41 Mainime Auctions Chevy for Larry Hedrick Motorsports. Part of his popularity stemmed from his unusual, double entendre name. ESPN's Dan Patrick and Keith Olbermann often made it a point to mention where he finished whenever NASCAR highlights were featured on SportsCenter. He was either referred as Mr. Trickle or the man. He was also widely noted for having drilled a hole in his safety helmet so that he could smoke while racing, and for installing cigarette lighters in his race cars. Trickle was allowed by NASCAR to smoke in the race car during yellow flag periods, and in the 1990 Winston 500, Trickle was seen on live television by the in-car camera lighting up and smoking a cigarette. Trickle even made fun of his lack of success in NASCAR's top-level series in a 1997 TV commercial for Napa Auto Parts. In it, Trickle announces a contest where fans can win $100,000 if they pick the winner of that year's Napa 500 race. A little tip. It's gonna be me. He says, as an on-screen graphic points out Dick is zero for 243 in cup races. I think we get champagne, says Trickle. Dick also raced in the Bush Series, where he won two races. He had 158 career starts, with 24 top 5 and 42 top 10 finishes. He made his Bush Series debut in 1984. Through the 2000s, Trickle continued to race in occasional events in Wisconsin, including the 2001 and 2007, Slinger Nationals at Slinger Super Speedway and in the ASA Midwest Tour. Legacy the Lacrosse Fairgrounds Speedway created the Dick Trickle 99 race, a 99 lap super late model event during its annual October Fist Race Weekend. Wisconsin International Raceway has named a building in turn to the Dick Trickle Pavilion. Trickle served as the de facto Grand Marshal of the Slinger Nationals after he retired until his death. 
his crashes at the Lake Placid bobsleigh, luge, and skeleton track at the Jeff Bodine bobsled challenge has that turn named the Trickle Turn. Death Trickle died May 16, 2013, from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. The incident occurred at 12.02 p.m. at Forest Lawn Cemetery in Bogger City, North Carolina. The Lincoln County Communications Center received a call, apparently from the victim, saying that there's going to be a dead body. Suicide When the 911 operator asked who was about to commit suicide, Trickle responded, I'm the one. Police attempted to call his phone back but there was no response. Trickle was found dead beside his pickup truck. His granddaughter, who died in a car accident, was buried in the same cemetery. Trickle's family later released a statement which in part said, he had been suffering for some time with severe chronic pain, had seen many doctors, none of which could find the source of his pain. His family as well as all those who knew him find his death very hard to accept, and though we will hurt from losing him for some time, Hey Euro Unregistered Trademark S no longer suffering and we take comfort knowing Hey Euro Unregistered Trademark S with his very special angel. NASCAR chairman Brian Franz released a statement saying Dick was a legend in the short track racing community, particularly in his home state of Wisconsin, and he was a true fan favorite. Personalities like Dick Trickle helped shape our sport. He will be missed. Former competitor Rusty Wallace battled Trickle for championships at several levels. I'm in 100% shock. Dick Trickle was my mentor, Wallace said. When I was short track racing, I would call him every Monday morning and he would always help me with race setups and stuff. He and I had such a good time telling little stories, but he was the guy that taught me almost everything in the American Speed Association. And he was the guy that I battled right to the end for my 1983 ASA championship. I barely beat the guy that taught me everything. I'd not seen Dick as much as I'd like to of late. He was a legend. A man that had won over a thousand short track races, was one of the most winning short trackers in America, was a role model to many short track racers coming up. Could just do magic with a race car and he taught me so much about racing. My success in the ASA and what Trickle taught me is what got me into NASCAR. That's what got me hired by Cliff Stewart back in 84. Between Larry Phillips and Dick Trickle, they taught me everything. A moment of silence was observed for Trickle during the start of the North Carolina Education Lottery 200 at Charlotte Motor Speedway on May 17. A tribute was held for Trickle at the July 2013 Slinger Nationals race with his family telling stories about his career. Legacy and Memorial, Trickle's Wisconsin friends and competitors, including Tom Refner and Marv Marzofka, began organizing a Dick Trickle Memorial Fund to build a memorial statue at Rudolph Community Park. The group is collecting money including securing the title sponsorship of a Tundra Super Late Model race at Golden Sand Speedway. Wins in major series, although he won no points paying races in NASCAR Winston Cup, he was very successful elsewhere. 1 NASCAR Winston Open, 2 NASCAR Bush Series wins, 32 American Speed Association wins, 68 ARTGO Challenge Series wins, 2 NASCAR Southwest Tour wins, 2 USAC wins. Motorsports career results. Equals NASCAR equals, key. Winston Cup Series. Bush Series. Bibliography, notes. References, Gruber, Dale. The Golden Age of Wisconsin Auto Racing. Oregon, Wisconsin, Badger Books. ISBN 1878569678. External links, Dick Trickle Driver Statistics at Racing Reference, Dick Trickle Elegy at SB Nation.